Boom. What is going on, guys? Sean Boyle, like always. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to market a franchise business. Let's get started. All right, guys, hope you're doing well. Got my little background picture here, me in front of the Brooklyn Bridge. My camera, unfortunately, isn't working, so fortunate, but just wanted to pump a quick video out here for you. Anybody that owns a franchise business, Momentum 360 at this point, we've done hundreds of franchises, automotive, retail, gyms, spas, healthcare, education, et cetera, et cetera. So it would be very valuable for someone who has a franchise in any of these niches to get what I'm about to say, because it's just easy. In all honesty, it is going to dramatically help out just getting you more inbound business with SEO. All right. So the first thing I'll say, and I'm using Momentum 360 as an example, we're actually going to be franchising the business this year. Very exciting. The first thing is if you have a locations page, right, for all these locations, you need to make sure that they're all the same. So what I mean by that is let's just say that we're going into the Boston page, right? You have a very, very, very similar style, as you can see here. Boom, boom, boom. So a couple things. We have a drone shot that we personally shot of Boston. We have new fresh content pertaining to Boston. You can see Boston right here. This is our address. This is where we're located. All this great stuff, right? And you need to keep the theme the exact same. And just like Google My Business, which we'll get into in a second, you need to have all your information the same as well, because Google is quite literally going to pull all this information in. And if your information is not correct, then Google is going to say, well, this information is different from what we found elsewhere. So we're confused and we're not going to rank them as high simply because the information is not consistent. So essentially, it's the NAP, the name, the address and the phone number. All right. So that's that. Another example of the Chicago location. So as you can see right here, different content, same theme. Very, very, very similar content. Here we go. You got the Google My Business here. You got some examples at the bottom. And boom, you have a nice drone shot of Chicago. All right, so point being, guys, it's really, really important to do this when you have location pages. Um, and even if you have multiple locations in a given area, like Baltimore or Philadelphia, where HQ is, let's just say you have one in North Philly, one in South Philly, one in West Philly, and one in Old City, it's really imperative to have consistent LPs, landing pages, because you're essentially consistentizing the brand. Uh, you're making it, again, just better for Google to rank your pages on simply from having it all be the same. Uh, in terms of the theme, right? And then obviously, like we talked about, the NAP, name, address, phone number is going to be the, the exact same. The next thing I'll talk about, guys, is Google My Business. So Google My Business is a very interesting thing in 2023, simply because the Google My Business app and the dashboard is actually going away. So if you guys aren't familiar with that, the Google My Business app and the Google My Business dashboard are both going away. You're now able to manage your Google My Business straight from a Google search, which I don't necessarily like. I think it's um, for us like not the best thing, but uh, I, you know, would definitely recommend you to take a look at, um, you know, what we're doing here, and you can kind of see some cool stuff that we're doing. So let me hop over here really quickly. I'll go to a quick Google search right here. Momentum three hundred and sixty. So here you go. This is our location. Now, what's really interesting, guys, is it's the same feedback as last time, right? Where the name, address, and phone number all need to be the same for the Google page and the location page, all right? Because if you're having that be consistent across all boards, again, you're being consistent with Google, you're adhering to Google's guidelines, and you're going to be ranking higher simply because you're doing this, right? So not just for Google, but for Facebook, MySpace, Bing, uh, Yelp, Instagram, all these platforms, uh, let's just say using the Philadelphia location, if we have all of this information the same, Google is going to prioritize us over another virtual tour provider. Got it? So it's really imperative, guys, if you have a franchise, uh, take a good look at your nap. Because I know a lot of franchise owners that we work with, and they just don't give a crap about it. 
And that's the wrong mentality. You need to care about this stuff. It's a very easy fix and it's free. You know, we're not asking you guys to spend any money. This is a free thing you guys could be doing to help better market your franchise. All right. Website, going back to the Google My Business. And then last but not least, what we'll do is talk about your service offerings. All right. And this is something that is a little bit more advanced, but I'll kind of just go into it. So Momentum 360, as you can see here, we do a lot of different things. All right. But my main thing is wouldn't do these services unless we couldn't provide it to the entire United States. So what I mean by that is if we could only do these, all these services in Philadelphia, it wouldn't make sense to say that we could do it in Chicago and, you know, all these other locations that we have. Right. So we have a very, very talented team that allows us to do virtual tours and videography and photos and drone and virtual staging and all this different stuff, right? 3D renderings, product photography, 360 photo booths, et cetera, uh, agent websites, all these different things on a nationwide basis. And it's the consistency again, that's coming up because you have to think if you're in any time fitness, right? Which we've worked with in the past, you go to the portfolio and gyms. This is, I'd say one of our largest, uh, gym franchises that we've worked with anytime fitness. And if you own an anytime fitness and if your nap isn't correct and your services aren't correct, it's a gym. But like, if you have different pricing, you know, the person's going to be like, well, what the heck over here, this gym is this much. And then it's a different pricing over here, especially if you're in a very similar location using that Philadelphia example, where you have multiple gyms in the city, but you're charging different amounts. It just doesn't make sense. So make sure your service offering is the same and your pricing is the same as well. Because if you're coming from a referral, they're trying to get that same price as well. Make sure the brand is as consistent as humanly possible and is the same. Because the more congruent you can make the brand, the better over time you will be. So to reiterate, we were talking about location pages. Once you have made this location page, identify your HQ if you have one. If you don't, you need to make sure that all of these pages that you're creating are the same in terms of theme but you're making different content, unique content pertaining to the location. So those cool little drone aerial flyovers that kind of introduce the city, that's what kind of stands out, but making sure that you're also putting in the NAP name, address, phone number to the distinct location. Number two, we were talking about Google My Business. So essentially, if you're going back to Momentum 360, again, make sure the NAP is the same because all these local citations, Bing, Yahoo, Yelp, Facebook, et cetera, in this specific area, in this Philadelphia location need to be the same. If they're not, that's a problem. And then going back to the website one more time, you need to make sure your services and pricing are the same because don't want to offer one service in one area, but can't offer it in the other. It just doesn't make sense and it's not congruent within the brand. So make sure if you can do one service as a franchise, you need to be able to do it for another, you know, very similar pricing. All right. So guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And I am looking forward to hearing your feedback in the comments. I'm actually going to be going to Puerto Rico this week. So I'm really, really excited for that. If you have any questions, any comments, any feedback, leave that below. Looking forward to making these videos every single week for you. Again, thank you so, so much. And I will see you in the next one.